today we will be doing a nervous system quieting floor bow spring practice and we'll need a block for that. So have a block or a substitute for a block and relax, enjoy yourself for this luxurious practice. We'll start in all fours pose. You can set your block aside for now. So we'll start with a mindfulness of the double S curve in the spine in this all fours pose, adding a gentle sway, feeling more connected to the earth. Take notice of your hands here and experience a springy-like quality in the palms as if you had a suction cup in your palms. The fingers are soft. The fingerprints touch down and there's hollows behind the fingers. Find a hollow in your elbow and a deepening in your armpit, creating space. Bring your attention to your rib cage. Imagine it as a barrel and a widening barrel. The bands of the barrel expand with each breath and you retain this expansion with each exhalation. Imagine the rib cage is a floating element. The more it floats, the bigger it gets in the back, the bigger it gets all around. Imagine it's floating on water and experience the lightness in the wrist and the knees when you can float this barrel rib cage. Press the tops of the feet into the floor and lift the ankles, hero feet. The lifting of the ankles enables you to lift the tailbone, spiral the thighs inward, and spread the pelvic floor wide. This creates an inward curve of the lumbar spine. Now notice here if you've collapsed between the shoulder blades and float up. See what I just did there? I'll do it again. This is collapsing in the shoulder blades, ribcage closer to the floor. And now this is expanding and floating the back part. Stay light in the wrist, suction cup quality in the palm. And find some movements here. We'll temporarily bow, bow the head down, chin to chest, lift the back of the neck towards the ceiling. Find a pulse here, wiggle around in your space. Opening up connective tissue. Find some stillness in the center and then tilt the ears back. Eyes forward. Find the lightness and the floaty quality in your all fours tabletop position. And we'll start with some barrel rolls to get you going, to get you in touch with your body. Imagine this barrel rib cage is isolating from the hips and the head. Take it in a circular motion. And then go the other direction. Allow your head and hips to get involved. And then find some stillness in the center. I'll adding any undulations before we get Moving forward. So this is a good time here to check your elbows and make sure you're not locking them out or spinning the eyes of the elbow forward. So eyes of the elbow look at each other. The outer elbow points towards the outside and there's a hollow inside of the elbow, a caving in in the inside of the elbow. Fill in the back part. 
And we'll start with humble cat. Tuck the left toes under. Keep them connected. And open up, spin, swivel heel. Left heel comes to the ground. Left knee opens up. Right foot can kickstand to the right to give you some more balancing and opening. Now rotate the rib cage up towards the ceiling. Left ribs go towards the ceiling. And feel that opening the left side body. Start to pulse. The hips go back. Tailbone lifts. Digging into the left paw gives you control. It gives you a place to stretch away from. The left ribs float up so high, the left hand domes. The higher the left ribs are, the more the top of the head, the crown of the head, can point towards the floor. This is a good time here to check your right elbow. Make sure it's not locked out. Staying full in the back part, sitting long in the belly. Stay here and continue to pulse or level up a little bit. Take left seed hand to left knee. Press the seed into the knee, knee into the seed and lift off. Left foot, open leg. Activate the left side of the leg. Lift the left rib cage, head pours towards the floor. Bicycle the left leg here to activate the back side of the left leg. Can you feel a lightness in your right palm? And step down, left foot steps behind the right, break the hand away, and bring the left hand back to that dome hand. Press your hips back, feel the opening, the diagonal opening that crosses your chest and belly. Try to keep the left hand in a dome here. That'll keep you from prematurely opening up and losing the fascial opening. Option here to take left hand wishbone, right arm, right forearm, for even more of a twisting opening of the fascia. Eyeballs look at the right hand here. Maintain integrity of the double S curve of the spine. A couple more pulses. Hips back. Right dome touches down. Mind your transitions here. Dome slides to spring palm. And then knee rotates back down. All fours where we started. Floating rib cage. Couple pulses reset in between. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Other side. Tuck the right toes under. And kickstand left foot out to the side, maintaining that activation in the back of the leg. Swivel your right heel in, right knee opens up, and set the hips back. Knees still resist here. Tailbone lifts, activation in the backs of both of the legs. Dig dragging in your right paw, roots you to the earth. Floating in your right rib cage opens up. The fascia lines in the belly and the sides. Let the crown of your head pour towards the earth. I see lovely pulses here. Stay here or dig drag right foot. Lift up, open leg. Right C to right knee. Maybe a bicycle here. Take the right hand back to dome where it was and step the right paw back behind the left. Set your hips back. Wow, big twist in here. Try to keep a crease in the front of the groin here. An option here to take wishbone grip to the left forearm. Hips go back. Right dome reaches to its spot. Dome slides to spring palm. 
and we come out the way we came in, transitioning mindfully. Some movements here. Tuck the toes under crouching foot. Resist the knees, resist the elbows, hook the ribs, and lift up, crouching cat. A couple pulses here. Find the animal-like quality and lightness. Twisted cat left, toes and knees, swivel to the left. Bend your knees a lot, set your hips down on the floor by your heels. Stay tall in the rib cage here. So you see the twist. Do some pulses here. Feel it in your waist. Now bring the top leg on the floor in front of the bottom leg. Bring the left ear, the left shoulder, slide the left hand long. Reach. That was the right arm, <laughs> shoulder. Reach both arms towards the ceiling. Supine twist. So the knees are crossed over each other on the floor or twisted at the waist. Extending the arms away from the back part and finding a gentle pulse and sway to open up that tissue, to soften it. Now the goal here is not to get the left shoulder on the floor behind me. We're just pulsing here, just exploring our body. All right, stay here and keep exploring. Or you can take right hand to left paw and start to open the leg out for an IT band stretch, which sometimes feels pretty good. Don't lock out the knee here, but rather suck in from behind the knee and pulse. Can you feel that? All along the side of the leg, all the way to the foot. When you feel complete, release. Place the legs back to where they were. Keep your legs exactly where they are. Roll onto your belly. Come onto your forearm, sphinx arms for baby hurdler. Now, the tendency here is to collapse between the shoulders. Let your chest fall down towards the floor. But remember it as a floating buoy on the ocean. And let it float to the surface. See the difference that makes? Now let your wrist float as well, space between the wrist and the floor, hands in the seat. And find a couple of pulses here. Maybe a sway, whatever makes sense for your body. Feels good. Tuck the hands under, tuck the feet under, and we can transition easily to twisted cat right. Toes and knees to the right. Sit your booty down on the floor by your feet. Bring the left ear to the left shoulder. And we'll, we'll stay here for a second. Actually, just lift your head up and I forgot. Side twist. A couple pulses here. Now, left ear to left shoulder. Rise your right ribs and slide on down. Bring the right leg on the floor on top of the left and then roll onto your back. Reach your seat hands towards the ceiling. Pulse. Supine twist. Stay here, or take left hand to right paw for an IT band stretch, pulse. Just 
soft breath, quieting, softening. Place the right leg back on the floor on top of the left, in front of the left. Roll onto your belly. Come up to sphinx arms on the elbows. Float your back part. Lift the back of your neck. Finally, lift the ears back. Lift the wrists up. Energetically drag the elbows towards the legs to open your belly. Search for opening. Search for sticky. You work it out. All right, we're going to slide left arm long, left ear to left bicep. And then stack your hips. Shift the butt back behind the whole rest of the body. It's the furthest thing back. Bend the knees at 90 degrees in front of you. And bring the top hand to a dome in front of you. Side bow. Fill into the ribs. And lift your waist off the floor. Now bow your belly long and tilt your head back. Take right leg, open leg. Fiesta flare that foot. Lifting the pinky side of the foot. Ankles flexed. Big drag in a circle to make a bicycle action in the right leg. Belly bows. And up and down. Take the left hand to ecstasy behind your head. And reach the right hand to the right heel. Both knees go forward. Reach and grab the right ankle with the right hand. Bow your belly. Pull the knees forward. Bow your head. Couple breaths here. And release. Stretch the right arm long and roll over onto the right side, right ear to right bicep. Scoot the booty behind you a lot. Bring the knees in front of you at a 90 degree and bring the top arm to dome in front of you. Fill in the rib cage, get nice and big here. The waist narrows, the waist lifts off the floor. Integrity in the legs, lift the top leg, lift and lower a few times. And siesta flare the foot, which means lifting the pinky side up, going against the pattern. And pedal here, dig drag, dig drag. Luxuriously feel something new. And find some stillness. Legs go down. Right hand goes to ecstasy under your head. And feet come back. Right hand grabs right ankle. Knees go forward, belly bows. Hip crease is present. Just 
and release. Take the back of the head to the floor as you roll onto your back. And then we will scooch ourselves back onto our mat one body part at a time. The feet move, the hips move, the shoulders move, and the head moves. Reprogramming our body in movement. Find your block here. And we'll bow the belly here, lifting the belly button towards the ceiling, letting the hips get really heavy. Take your block and sit your block under those heavy hips. Walk your heels back, belly bows a lot. Fill in the back part. And we'll take the right leg up, the sole of the foot towards the ceiling, ankle flex, fiesta flared feet. Grab the right thigh, thigh root, and pulse. Try to pull that right femur bone into the socket. And then cross right ankle over left knee. Reaching two seat hands towards the ceiling. Belly bows, belly button points at the ceiling, hips heavy. Lift the chin out of your chest. So the neck and the waist here are lifting and floating and narrowing. Lift the left foot off the floor. And start a bicycle here. And then when you're ready, place left paw back on the earth. Uncross the legs. And then left leg, thigh root. Interlace the hands behind the thigh. So the goal here is not to straighten the leg, but rather to explore. And to maybe even reset the femur bone within the hip. Cross the left ankle over the right knee. Make your hips heavy. Pubic bone points away. Belly button rises. Reach seat hands towards the ceiling. Get big in the back part. Lift your chin out of the chest. Right foot breaks away. And does some beautiful bicycle pedals here. Beautiful. Bring the foot back to the earth. Uncross the leg. Bring the other foot back to the earth. And then we're going to dig drag both feet. Lift both feet off the earth. And take your hands behind your knees. See if you can feel a hollow behind your knees. A hollow is what we want. Now activate the backs of the legs by energetically digging and dragging back. Make the belly button lift towards the ceiling, hips so heavy. Freedom pose. Careful here because you're on your block, but maybe find some movement and rock into it. Working the deep core muscles here and opening and expressing the pelvic floor. Stay here or for an extra challenge, lift your shoulders up off the floor for ultimate freedom. Maybe even break your hands away. So the only contact with the earth right now is your head. Your hips are on the block. Head and hips. And then you feel complete. Paws touch down. Shoulders touch down. Sit your hips up. 
and take the block, remove it. Be mindful when you set your hips back down, set them back down closer to your head so you found a nice bow under your back. Slide the legs long. Lift the chin from the chest, palms down, assimilation. So let your body assimilate what it has learned. Allow the nervous system to, to recognize what you've just done and assimilate itself. You might feel it more ease in relaxing your body now than you did before. Notice the subtle movements of the energetic body. The fluctuations of thought. Their frequency it's different now. I'll start to move around a little bit. Consciously controlling your muscles for a twitch or a movement here and there. When you're ready, reach your right arm above head the floor, keeping your head on the floor, ear comes to bicep as you roll over, scoot your hips back to a side bone, and we're going to slide up, letting the rib cage lead the way. Thank you for joining, namaste. Hey guys, anybody watching now? I would like to know what your experience was with this practice. So for me, um, I've been feeling energetically low all day today and I laid down for a nap before this and I couldn't nap. My body felt like it was, even though I was, I felt energetically low, my body on the inside, my energetic body, felt like it was vibrating and my my thoughts were racing and it was hard to relax. But after this practice, which was, the intention was to be nervous system settling, I feel greater ease, I feel more ease with thought processing and I feel an energetic um, quality in my physical body that will sustain me for the rest of the day. I wonder if anybody else feels the same way. I would love to hear your comments. And um, if you would like, please drop in the chat. Thank you for watching. Namaste.